Now, you may still have questions concerning the COVID-19 vaccine, and with cases surging in many states, we've invited emergency physician and spokesperson for the American College of Emergency Physicians, Dr. Jessica Solis McCarthy, to join us today. Thank you so much. Hi, nice to meet y'all. Yes. Now, as an emergency physician, what kind of misleading vaccine information are you encountering? Yeah, a lot of the misleading information that I've heard while working in the emergency department is that the vaccination, the creation of the vaccination was, was rushed. The science behind the COVID-19 vaccine has been present for decades. Um, it was only the logistics that were rushed with the government so that we could get the vaccine readily available for use during the pandemic. Uh, additionally, some other misinformation that I've heard is that the COVID vaccine um, can cause really bad side effects and can cause problems with your heart. Really, those cases are very, very, very rare. Uh, and in fact, you more likely to have uh, risks from actually getting the COVID-19 infection rather than getting the COVID vaccine. The COVID vaccine does a really good job in blunting the infection and allows you to recuperate a lot faster. I know some additional questions people may have, Dr. McCarthy. Uh, was the vaccine rushed? And then how do we know that it's safe? Mm -hmm. To create the COVID-19 vaccine, it was not rushed at all. And we know that it's very, it's very safe and efficacious in that at this point, 56% of the population in the United States has been vaccinated. So thousands and thousands of people have been vaccinated and there has been not many uh, complications from those vaccines. What about uh, reactions or side effects that people, um, do people get um, from the vaccines and how serious can they be? Mm -hmm. A lot of the side effects that could come along from getting the COVID-19 vaccination, they're pretty mild. They could vary from a little bit of a fever to feeling kind of general body aches, general fatigue, maybe a little headache. And the biggest one that I suffered from initially was uh, having a really sore arm from where they injected the, the vaccine. However, like I said, a lot of these symptoms are very mild. They could be tended to with over-the-counter medications like Tylenol or ibuprofen. And we hear usually about last maybe one, maybe at most two days. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. We hear about breakthrough infections in people who have been fully mm -hmm. vaccinated. So if you can still get COVID-19 after getting the shots, why should people consider getting vaccinated at all? Mm -hmm. uh, everyone believes that the COVID-19 is 100% efficacious and not getting the infection. And really, the whole purpose of getting the COVID-19 vaccine is to blunt the effects of the infection. Uh, the whole point is to teach your body, hey, this is a COVID-19 infection. Let's fight it. Let's block it. Let's not allow it to replicate and, and invade our body. And in, that, in doing so, we'll hopefully minimize hospitalizations and ICU admissions. So the whole point of the COVID vaccine is just to blunt the effects of the COVID-19 infection, not necessarily to prevent it altogether. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And and booster shots are now recommended mm -hmm. for many right. people. So why do some people need these booster shots? Mm -hmm. So uh, not sure if people are aware, but the COVID-19 infection is constantly evolving and learning how to get bigger, better, stronger. And so the booster helps in learning those, uh, those mutations and helps in teaching our bodies how to prevent those infections from getting really severe. And so the booster shots are more recommended for patients who are at higher risk. The older folks, people with comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, lung disease, those people are at higher risk and potentially requiring ICU admission. So by offering them the booster vaccine, uh, we will help hopefully blunt the effects of the infection. Sure. And final question here for you. Where can our viewers go for more information? Yeah. You're more than welcome to go to the uh, website for the American College of Emergency Physicians at ASEP.org or emergencyphysicians.org for further information on the COVID vaccine. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us today and filling us in. Great information. Thank we you, appreciate Dr. McCarthy. you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. For sure.